John, I wanted to ask you, how does this concept of the word I relate to creation? What is its place in this creation? Once you understand this word I, which we use every day in every single sentence in referring to ourselves as individuals, the problem is we don't even know the meaning of this word I. We use it all the time, but have absolutely no idea what it means. And it's the smallest little word in the dictionary, I. What does it mean? When you take the word dog, you can put a picture next to the word dog. If you take the word flower, you can put a picture next to the word flower. Take the word I, what picture do you put next to that? So, and what does it mean? It means something different to everybody. So it means something different to you, something different to... Any person has a different understanding of this word I. But, in relation to the I, everything is relative to this I. So, on the individual level, yes, there's a different, relative different I's. It's like pizza. You've got pizza and you've got all the different varieties of pizza. This I is one. And all the relative I's and identifications are many. How many? Infinite. So when it comes to this I in creation, in terms of the individual, there's the, all the relative identities and roles that the individual is identified with and playing. But when it comes to the I, the I is the same in every single person. So the I is the first name of address. In fact, the I is the first name for every human being. Everybody is called I. Who is this I? Can it be anything but the creation speaking? 